Hey guys, welcome to my very first episode of my Super Flat Survival Series. So, I haven't actually made the map yet, but as you can see, here's all my other maps. So, my single player world, my creative redstone world, and a few others. So, I'm going to go ahead and make it now. I'll name it Super Flat. Oh, there we go. And LP for Let's Play. Now game mode survival, world type, super flat. Now I could customize the preset to something else, but I think classic flat is the best. That just has one grass block, two dirt and one bedrock, so absolutely no resources, which just makes it harder to survive. And cheats off of course, bonus chests. I don't know if I should leave this on or off, I think I'll be a bit more hardcore and turn it off. And of course, generate structures has to be on, otherwise I'll be dead within half an episode and that won't be very fun. And I'll leave the seed as nothing, I'll just get a brand new world. Let's go. Converting world, building terrain. Hopefully I get a good map. And hopefully there's a village in sight. So I'll just stand here, let it load a bit. See if I can find myself a village in any direction. Because that would be helpful. I'll just grab myself some blocks. I'll show you guys how close bedrock really is. So that, that's literally all I have, guys. There's a couple of blocks of dirt until I find a village. So I'm actually on Optified now, and it looks like I'm getting some okay frames, about 90 frames per second. So that's good for a super flat world, because it renders a long way out because of my view distance. Well, there's literally no villages here. So it would be a very good episode if I die in like the first one minute. Just move chunks then, and as you saw, and it like refreshed everything. I don't even know which direction I'm running now. Let's run towards the sun. That makes sense. No, oh, that's the hole I dug. Okay. Run the opposite direction to the sun. Oh, some chickens! GG! Four chickens spawned perfectly in a line. Okay, take advantage of that and grab myself some food so I don't starve to death. Oh, come back here, you're not getting away. I need the food, give me it! Yes. And the XP always helps. Now, I'm actually going to check what difficulty I'm on, so I'm on normal for now, that'll do. But I might bump it up a bit later, just depending on how many slimes and stuff spawn. There we go. I've got some feathers and meat. Alright now, to get the basics to survive in this world, I'll need to find a village with a blacksmith. And that's really my only source of items. And whatever items I get from there, I've got to try and build up from there. So I've got to demolish some of the houses, get some wood, get some sticks, make some tools. And obviously there's no cobblestone here, so I have to make a cobblestone generator. But wow, there's really no villagers. This is a bit awkward. I guess I'll just keep running this direction. And there's the slimes that I've heard of so much in people's super flat worlds. Everyone complains about the slimes. So hopefully we don't run into too many of them. There we go, guys. There's the first village. I can't actually see a blacksmith, but... At least there's some food there, and some wood. Even though I can't really get the wood that quickly without an axe. Alright, so let's see what we have here. I'll go ahead and... oh, some carrots. Thank you. Give me those carrots. Okay, that's alright. I've got enough food for now. So that's a fairly good start, I guess. But I do need a blacksmith. That's like the number one thing. If you're trying to survive in a super flat world, you need a good blacksmith spawn. And you need something good from the blacksmith as well. But it looks like I got ripped off. I got a terrible, terrible spawn here. No, nothing. Even got one of these houses. They're pretty rare spawn. The house with the little veranda. And I did get a library, but no blacksmith. So, I'm just going to demolish this town and be on my way, because I literally can't do anything until I find a blacksmith. 
So let's just go ahead and get some little potatoes. Thank you. That's one of the advantages of being on 1.4.5. All the new stuff is out, all the new crops, which is good. Now, I actually wish I had some iron so I could pick up this water, but I don't have anything. I guess I'm just going to have to keep running. And I'll, I guess I'll keep going in the same direction. Hopefully find some sheep as well, because I don't want to die, because... I'll be put all the way back at the start, which is not very good. Oh, gonna have to eat something on hunger already. Oh, sheep! Exactly what I was looking for. Well, these potatoes are terrible. Are carrots any better? Oh, there we go. Carrots are the stuff to eat. All I even trying to eat potatoes for. Carrots are the way to go. Come on, I need some wool. Please don't take a hundred hits to die. Come on, wool. Yes. Now I need more wool, so I'll just auto-attack these sheep for four hours. Oh, some slimes. Okay, I don't, I don't actually think the little ones hurt you. No, they don't. So, that's fine, except for the annoying noise that they're making, so I'm going to kill them anyway. But you can just leave the small ones alone if you want, because they won't hurt you. Alright, three wool. That's all I need for now. I'm just going to head off into the distance and hopefully find a blacksmith before I die. I won't starve to death now. I've got enough carrots. But I guess I could starve to death if I don't find anywhere to plant them. Okay, here we go. Come on, blacksmith with 40 diamonds in the chest. That's what I'm hoping for. And I don't see a blacksmith not good, not good. Alright, gotta run a bit further into town. Some more sh oh, a brown sheep. wonder what the spawn rate on that is. Now, I could actually trade the villagers some stuff if any of them, any of them want any of this terrible stuff I have. Anyone want six feathers for, say, a couple diamonds? That'll be good. Yep, this one has a tower. Or whatever this is called. Let's see, glowstone. That could come in handy at some stage. So that I oh, actually, I can get glowstone from the Nether, can't I? Didn't even think of that. That's all right. So I don't really need glowstone. I'll grab some books while I'm here. Why not? Just in case I have to move on. I'll grab this crafting table as well. All right. That's, all, that's pretty good. Now, oh, give me these carrots. Nom, nom. All right, so over here is no blacksmith. Wow. Not happy. Not happy at all here. I really needed a blacksmith in this town. Unless I'm blind and I've just been walking past the blacksmiths. What's in there? Nothing. Pretty sure blacksmith is the only like building that has chests in it, so I've got to move on, I guess. Oh, guy takes wheat. That's all right, and I'm sure I'll find more of them. It's the only thing I'm not in short supply of is villagers. Look at them all; they're all just standing around here. Okay, so as far as I know, no blacksmith in that town. Which is a bit disappointing, but I guess off we go to the next town. I have 62 seeds. And I got heaps of carrots, heaps of potatoes, a bit of chicken, some all set for food. And this next village I find I'll get some wood so I can make my bed. Then I'll be set for bed. But... What cool... I can actually make some tools, actually, now that I think about it. I can make wooden tools, but... It's going to be a pretty bad start to a series using wooden tools for five episodes. But I might have to do that if I don't find a blacksmith soon. Or if I don't find a village soon. How many blocks have I gone? I'm at negative 3,000 right now. On the X and I'm moving up in the negative Z as well. 
So hopefully I find something good. Because it'll be way easier if I could just find a tiny bit of iron to make a bucket. Like for starters, I need iron. And the only way to get iron is from trading a ridiculous amount of wheat through emeralds and stuff. Oh, some cows. I could use the leather actually, so give me that. 500 hits later, he dies. Ready? Bam. No leather. Wow. Disappointed. Disappointed. Give me some leather. Come on. No leather again. Now, I would usually just leave these in like one of my other series, but in this one I'm really starved for resources, so everything I can get is like a blessing pretty much. Come on. Five leather drop. Ultra rare drop. One leather, that's good enough. Alright, so if there's no blacksmith here and there's no iron, I'm just going to go ahead and make some wooden tools. I didn't want to do that. I hate wooden tools. They are terrible, but I might have to be rocking the wooden tools for a while. What is that? Is that a blacksmith? Please be a blacksmith. For that. No, what? What is this? What is that built? Yes! A blacksmith, guys. So I'm, hopefully there's iron in here. There better be iron, because then I can get the lava, mix it with the water, make a cobblestone generator, and I'll be all set. Oh, come on! Iron boots. Wow. I mean, the diamonds are alright, but... Looks like it's wooden tools, guys. Wooden tools it is. And I'll take this chest as well. Saves me from wasting my wood getting one. So, I'll just start the... Oh. Is that another blacksmith right next to it? Wow. Score. With iron. GG. And obsidian for another portal. Wow. Okay, GG, I win the game. I'm the best. That's the luckiest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> wow. Alright. Alright, alright. I don't know what to do now. I'm like... I got went from no resources to everything in about two seconds. Go ahead, put these on. We'll pick a building for our home. This one looks pretty good. Let me in. Come on. Wow. Okay. Apparently the villagers... Wow! Apparently the villagers like this house as well. Oh my god. We're getting attacked by zombies. And spiders. Shit, close the door, villagers. What are you doing? Well, this is definitely the house to be chilling in. As you can see. But I'm going to go ahead and make the bucket that I desire. And I am going to put these chests down. Oh, shoosh! Stop knocking on the doors! They're so annoying. Alright. Chests there. I'll unload some of this less useful stuff in here. Saplings. That would be useful, but there's a lot of houses around here I could knock down, so I'll be fine. Obsidian. Bread, that's good. Where? Oh, there was a pick in there as well? I didn't even notice I picked that up. That's GG. Wow, please be quiet. I need wood for my bed, but I don't want to destroy this house. I'll destroy another house real quick. Please don't gank me. Oh! <laughs> that scared the living bejeebas out of me. Wow. I'm going to go destroy a house over here. Hopefully I don't get attacked. I want to hit this wood because this wood I can turn into a whole bunch of planks. So it's better than hitting the planks. Saves me some time. So is that enough? Oh! Get off me, spider! Head back into my little home over here. That should be enough wood. Alright. So how to do this is... First off, I need a bed. So I'll do that. And I will go ahead and sleep. What is this? It is the terrible design. Why do they even put these in the houses? Come on. Should probably make some wooden... Oh, the village... Okay, where's my bed gonna go? Under there? Space saving? I think so. Get out of my way! Monsters are nearby! I wanna... S what the hell are you looking at? <laughs> well, 
they're actually scary. What are they doing? I don't know. What the? Get it? Please move! Do you want to die? Okay. We'll just hold the sleeping for a while. While I make some tools. I need sticks first. All sticks should do it. Okay, an axe so I can gather my wood quicker. Potatoes are pretty useless. I'll get them off my hotbar. So slime balls. Right, so there's an axe. I've already got a better pickaxe. What am I doing? Shovel? I guess so, just in case I need one of them. What else possible tools do I need? I need some more sticks before I build anything, so I'll just forget about that. Alright, I've got some good stuff going now. This is actually a way better start than I was thinking I would be doing. Now all I need to do is sleep, so... I'll go kill all the things. All you stay in there so you don't get owned. Oh, Creeper Central. I don't want to pull all them. Stop breaking the door! What? Oh, it's a zombie villager. Well, they're inside the houses. That's mad. There's a villager just standing right there. What the? Look at all the mobs! Oh my god. Can I sleep yet or what? Move! Why are they all in this house? Yes, I can sleep. Alright guys, so that saves my spawn point right there. And now that I've got tools, I've got wood, I've pretty much set up. So hopefully it's daytime so they'll all leave that little house now. Of course the creepers and spiders don't leave. I knew that, but whatever. Just going to have to clear out the town a bit. And pick a house to demolish, so... I'm liking all the houses around my little hut, so I'm a, oh, look at that one, all the wood on that house. And another village over there. So we'll go check that out a bit later. But I'll do that after I've demolished this house. And gathered up some more wood. Right. There we go. This house is going to take ages to demolish with these bad tools. Ah, oh, come on. Put the hacks on. One shot these blocks. Alright, that's a fair bit of wood. That is a fair effort. Now, this is actually an infinite water source already, just by taking it out of there. But, where's my shovel? Alright, I got it here. I'm going to go ahead and dig a hole. May not seem like the most useful of things, but I'm digging this hole to get the dirt. Then I'm going to use that dirt to build a cobblestone generator. And then I'm going to use that cobblestone generator to get infinite cobble. Like, there is a fair amount used in the buildings of the towns, but it would be much easier just being able to stand still and AFK farm some. I don't know if I can AFK farm it, but farming some while standing still would be easier, if you ask me. So I'm going to go ahead and... Where did my... this one... This this town is full of villages! I do not understand. It's villages left, right and centre. So you want to go like... I actually haven't built one of these in ages, so I'm just going to freestyle this. And hopefully it turns out how I want it. I want it three wide in the middle, that's for sure. To have enough room to put a lava down. Okay. That's looking alright. I'm out of dirt already. Are you kidding me? Um. Let's see if I can build this with as least dirt as possible. Grab this. So I can put the lava in a place like that, that should work. And then to make cobblestone you need the lava to hit a not a pure water block source. So I'm going to have to put the water block up here I think. That should do it. At about that height. And if the lava is one height more, then it should work. Hmm. So I'll go ahead and test this. 
the villagers don't want to die, they should probably move, but they're fine. Grab another water. Please go away, slime. Oh my. Please, let me out! What is this? I've got to kill this slime, it's annoying me already. Don't ruin the crops. Oh, bloody slimes. They just piss me off these days. Oh, look at all the noise these things are going to make. They're actually one shot, so I don't need to use my sword, so I'll save that. And I'll quickly try and finish this thing off. I'll stuff it. we got like a million villagers here. Oh, you're getting angry? I don't care. Get out of my face. Alright, now where was the lava? I believe the lava was just here. Bam, thank you. Now you can't actually make infinite lava, so I've got limited of that, but... Oh, oh, stone. What the? Shit. No! What did I block that up for? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to fix this and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I just had to quickly go grab some more dirt from over there to finish off this cobblestone generator. And I'm happy with it, it's working really well. I'll just quickly show you how I did it. I just had to move the lava block up one, so I need more dirt to build this up a bit higher. And of course, now it works, so... This is actually a really good design as well, because when I hit this block I have to wait a little bit for the cobblestone to reappear, but now that there's two blocks in this design, I can just hit both, and then by the time I've hit the second one, the first one's already respawned. So that's good. And I was just testing it before, I've actually got over a stack of cobblestone already, so that's great. And it's night time now, so I'm going to wrap up this episode. I really hope you enjoyed episode one of my super flat survival series, and I hope you guys... Stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later.